I'm David Pryor. I'm the chairman of NHS England. Well, we, we are developing a very um, interesting digital strategy for health care in the, in the UK. Um, and in many ways, our healthcare system has got several, sim many similarities with the healthcare system in, in India. And so we're hoping that the, some of the, the lessons that we've learned in, in the UK, some of the technology that we have developed, might be of interest to, to India. I think the Ashman Barrett scheme is a fantastic scheme. And um, I think what you're doing in healthcare in India is incredibly impressive and there's a lot that we can learn from you as well as some things that maybe you can learn from us. We've been at it for 70 years in the NHS after all. Uh, and I think what they have in common, the two schemes, is they're both based around fairness and equity. Um, universal access, you know, for people who can't afford um, healthcare under their own resources. So I think, I think having that sort of common value system is incredibly important. So I think, I, I feel, talking to people I've met in the Indian healthcare system over here, that we have, the way we approach issues um, has much in common. I think one mistake that you should try to avoid, which we have only half avoided in the UK, is that the NHS has evolved into a sickness service. We look after people who are ill rather than a health service. And I don't think we've spent enough of our resources on keeping people healthy, population health, if you like. And that includes primary care, mental health, but also social care. And I think it will be, I mean, any bit of advice I give in a sense, and it's not really up for me to give you any advice, but compared to where we've come from, is not to focus everything on secondary and tertiary care, that actually all that does in the long run is drive more and more people into very expensive healthcare settings. And so therefore, invest in, in public health and, and primary care as, as well as secondary and tertiary care. I think that would be my main, my main bit of advice. Now I think we are facing the same difficulties that all countries with developed healthcare systems have, which is affordability. It's getting more and more expensive, and uh, and if you bring if you ally that with access, you know waiting times and the like. So it's that combination of affordability and access, which are the same in India, frankly, as they are in in the UK. And I think that one of the great one of our approaches to try and solve both those problems is technology, which again very similar to what we're doing in in, in India. That if we can deliver more healthcare digitally, sort of remotely, and if we can automate more of our processes, and if we can get a, a single longitudinal electronic health record for all our people, then that could reduce the cost of delivering healthcare and improve the quality. And I, so I think, again, it's, you know, it resonates, I suspect, very much with you over here, that the issues uh, of a greater magnitude in India, because your population is so great, but actually the fundamental issues are pretty much the same. There are two popular institutions in the UK. One is the monarchy, and the other is the NHS. I mean, it is, after 70, just, well, nearly 75 years now, the NHS is a remarkably popular um, organization. And it's popular not just because we deliver, it delivers good health care, uh, but because it's very much part of the culture of the UK. I think this feeling that in health, everyone is treated the same is a very powerful value, uh, which is why I think the reforms that um, your Prime Minister are doing here, Prime Minister Modi are doing over here, are you know, very much in tune with what we've done in the UK, and in the long run will prove to be not just successful, but very popular. Okay, so, so our, our, our partnership with Voice of Healthcare is incredibly important to us as we, as we develop our, a whole range of activities in the Indian healthcare system. Thank you.